Hey guys, Adam Trigger here, wagertalk.com. Here to talk Vikings Packers. But first, use check out promo code ACCESS3. It's three days of all access at a discounted rate, 5% plays included. Uh, so check that out at wagertalk.com. And it's good for any handicapper, including myself. Um, so access three, good for a discounted rate on three day, all access. All right. Vikings Packers. I had a nice bet on the Vikings last night, a Monday night football, uh, 4% play on Vikings plus seven. They win the game outright. A big reason, uh, why I was willing to take the, like, take a shot with the Vikings plus the points was I thought a veteran quarterback like Kirk Cousins would, would sort of figure out how to utilize, you know, the guys that he did have does have. Jordan Addison, guys like TJ Hawkinson, and, you know, it, start to overcome the Justin Jefferson um, injury, which we saw sort of hamper them uh, against the Bears the previous week. And that's exactly what happened. Cousins and the Vikings offense moved the ball just fine against a really good 49er defense. You got Addison involved, got Hawkinson involved, and the, the Vikings came out and, and had turned in their best result of the season, uh, an outright win over a very good 49ers team. And I don't see any reason why he can't do that here. Um, you know, the Packers specifically, you know, defensively are banged up. Even a fully healthy defense, I, I still think Minnesota, if they can do a lot of the same things they did last week against a far better 49ers defense, they'll be able to move the ball. But a, a key is going to be the health of the Packers defense because if they're without a couple starters, I would say that the prospect of the Vikings being able to move the ball is, is that much better. And, you know, if the Vikings can, can move the ball in this game, I think they're going to have a great path to victory. Um, Jordan love for the Packers, you know, to this point has been a bad NFL quarterback. Um, I talked about at the beginning of the season prior to the bears game first week of the season. I said, you know, I, I'm not high on Jordan love at all, but I think this is a potentially a good matchup for him. Uh, and, and he came out and kind of torched the Bears. If you look back since then, he's maybe played like a few good quarters of football. You know, go back to their win over the Saints. All that they were shut out for three quarters, took 18 fourth quarter points to win that game, uh, which is their only other win of the season. Uh, you know, terrible games against two bad defenses the last two weeks, Broncos, Raiders. Uh, those are our teams that, you know, have given up plenty of points or plenty of yardage to, to other teams, two defenses that rate, um, you know, low as, as far as NFL defenses are concerned. And Jordan Love didn't play, you know, didn't play very good against either of those teams. So I think he could struggle here. You know, the Vikings defense, I, I was on record at the beginning of the season, uh, talked about their secondary being really poor um, and that teams could throw on them. And what they've kind of done to offset that is just send a ton of pressure and, you know, tip the cap to Brian Flores, uh, who's, who's sort of, you know, re rejuvenated, revitalized this defense. And he's, he's been able to work around the sort of lack of, of a good secondary by just sending a lot of pressure and, and forcing the opposing quarterback to get rid of the ball quickly, you know, potential you know, getting in, generating pressure, getting sacks. Uh, and, and, and he's been able to do it because the run defense is, is, one of the best in the, in the NFL. Uh, the Vikings have a great run defense. So because they've been able to stop the run and they've been able to sort of so get to the opposing quarterback, it, it hasn't exposed their main defensive weakness, which is their ability to cover opposing receivers. And in this case, I mean, I'll take my chances with Jordan love taking shots downfield because he's not the guy that I think is, is capable of, of beating me, even if, the Vikings aren't getting a ton of pressure in the backfield uh, against this Packers team. So the thing I don't like about this game is the, is the obvious Vikings huge win on Monday night football short week. And then of course have to go on the road to play a Packers team that, that is, is very desperate at this point, you know, three straight losses now. Um, so you would have to think that this is, this is a big time like desperation spot here for the Packers but I don't think it's a good matchup for them. And the the way I would bet this game is to kind of keep an eye on the health of the Packers defense. Because if they get it, you know, if they end up ruling out three, four players come Sunday, uh, or even just a couple of, of, of key players on the defensive side of the ball, I think the Vikings are going to have a really good chance 
to, to win another football game here. So I like the Minnesota Vikings uh, to, to get it done in this game against the Packers. And like I said, keep an eye on the Packers injury report. If they're shorthanded, then I think it's a no brainer to take a shot uh, with the Vikings in this game to, to win another, to win back to back after getting the biggest win of their season over the San Francisco 49ers. If you like the videos, click on the, the video links on your screen for other free picks. Use coupon code ACCESS3 over at Wager Talk on my three-day all-access or any of the other handicappers. Uh, and head on over to wagertalk.com for more plays and more free picks.